Good morning. Uh, quick video, valve cover gaskets on the V6 Subaru engine. So the valve cover gaskets are on the side right here and over there. Uh, the passenger side was leaking. And if you lay underneath, you can see where it's coming from. So the actual valve cover looks like that there. And it just sits inside here, pressed up against there. It's held on, the six cylinders are held on with six bolts, four on the top, uh, one, not six bolts. I have six bolts for the top and the middle, which are all right here. And then I have the four that are on the bottom. So there's four on the top and then there's, there's three in the top and then there's one in the middle in the back and then there's two in the middle in the front and the middle and the front are smaller. These are all 10 millimeter. In order to get in there, just take off this uh, intake pipe. There's a, there's like a protective cover that goes over the fuel injectors and everything. You take that off, it's two 12 millimeters and I think a 10 millimeter and that slides back and out the valve cover. Once you loosen all the bolts and you take them out, loosen them first, pop it like with a, a knife or a flathead or something to just pop it open and put a catch pan down there because you're going to dump a bunch of oil and take all the bolts out. Uh, and then when you slide it out, you're going to slide it back and then down. Um, and then you just pull off the old gaskets, put on the new ones. Obviously, this one was garbage because it was all... Uh, hard and broken and leaking uh, let's see so the gasket I got uh, is the Felpro gasket there's the number for the V6 and what else did I take off so there's this uh, just this off the front which is super easy just some clips and then this is the pipe and then this is the shield that goes over the fuel injectors. And that is kind of it. Um, so yeah, not super in detail, but 10 millimeters for all these bolts, total of 10 bolts, 10 millimeters. Pop it off, catch pan, slide it down out that way. Um, shield off, two 12 millimeters. One 10 millimeter pipe off, just a flathead to like a drill to take the clamps off and pop it out. A little bit of a pain. Uh, side note, so these V6 engines in the Tribeca are deeper than they are in the Outbacks, but in the earlier years, they had longer uh, coils on them. So they were tougher to get out. I was pleased to see that these could just come right out, even though the engine's deeper in and it's closer to the frame. So you do have to take these are 12 millimeters too. Uh, you take three of those bolts out to get the spark plugs out, and then you just pop them out, and they slide right out. There's just enough space in there to slide them out. Then you just put it back together. Simple as that. Sounds simple. A little bit of a pain, but you can do it. Have a great day.